What's going on everybody? It's Cable Line Network here. Chilling out, Max now doing my thing. Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about prediction plots for Star Wars Episode 8. Now this will contain spoilers from Star Wars Episode 7 pre-warning. So if you haven't already seen it, make sure you get off this video and go see it right now. Alright, now let's get into this. At the end of, this is a spoiler once again, spoiler, spoiler, I warned you. At the end of Star Wars Episode 7, you see Rey whooping on Kylo Ren, leaving the Star Killer to be destroyed. With Han Solo's death and a heavy heart, the Rebellion now celebrates their first victory against the First Order. Now, let's get into the Star Wars Episode 8 plot based off of what was um, happening in Star Wars Episode 7. First off, Luke training Rey to be a Jedi Master so she can kill Kylo Ren. Now, doesn't that seem familiar? Remember how Obi-Wan was training Luke so he can kill Darth Vader and Darth Vader was Obi-Wan's apprentice? Just how Kylo Ren was Luke's apprentice. They're both older figures. Now, they're going to let Kylo Ren is going to be fighting Rey. Luke could have killed Kylo Ren. He can kill him just like Obi-Wan could have possibly killed Darth Vader. The main thing was he had to let the force be rebalanced and that was with Luke. That was a chosen one and I believe it's going to have those similar um, similarities in episode 8. Luke is going to let Rey fight Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren might kill um, Luke just because Rey will get an immense amount of power because of it. Every time a Jedi Master dies, they get an immense amount of power. They get more focused. It's weird. Just like when um, Kanan in Star Wars Rebels thought that he lost Ezra. He started whooping that Grand Inquisitor's ass. He did. Just like when Obi-Wan lost his master, Obi-Wan went crazy on Maze, on not Maze, on um, Darth Maul. So, that being said, it's a possibility that he will train her and that's how this is going to go. Now, the First Order pushes their assault. Now, because of the Rebels scoring their first victory, the First Order is not going to take this standing. I mean, take this sitting down. They're going to go completely haywire on the Resistance, pushing their assault on all planets that they have in their control and beyond. Most likely, they're going to create a new Star Killer. Well, I mean, come on, it's not like the Rebels haven't blown up a base and the evil side has not created again, aka Death Star 2. So, yes, you're going to see a Star Killer 2 in here. Yes, you will. All right, now let's get a little bit more into this, shall we? Characters' death. That's going to be something that's going to be really what pushes all of this forward. Luke's going to die, yes, because of the similarities with his master, he's going to have to die so Rey can truly unlock her potential. No one knows the um, true extent of uh, Supreme Commander Snoke's ability. We just know he's well in tune with the dark side, giving Kylo Ren additional training. And it might not just be Kylo Ren, it might, keyword, it might be others that are tuned to the dark side that can use the force. Inquisitors. Inquisitors have been my main thing. That's who I truly believe Snoke is. He's an Inquisitor. An Inquisitor was somebody who was trained by Lord Vader to be, um, well, a killer against the, against, um, the Jedi. They were the ones who were meant to hunt down the Jedi. They had two dual well sabers that can spin. It was awesome. Now, if that is true that he is an Inquisitor, it makes even more sense to why Kylo Ren actually wanted to idolize him because, of course, the rule of two. The rule of two is something a lot of people don't know with Star Wars. It was an apprentice and a master. The master who embodies power and an apprentice who craves it. Now, an apprentice who craves power. What apprentice would not want to crave more power than their master, a.k.a. Anakin Skywalker and everybody else who's had a master before them? My thing is... Luke's going to try to talk to Kylo Ren, just how Han did, and spoilers, spoilers, just how Han did, and just like Han, Kylo Ren's going to kill Luke in some type of cowardly way. He can't beat Luke in a one-on-one -on -one fight. He can't do it. A straight-up fight can't do it. Just like how Darth Vader struggled with Obi-Wan, even though Darth Vader had all that mechanical stuff, Obi-Wan was still laying into him. Remember that. All right. Now, Leia's death. Leia is Kylo Ren's mother. Now, the thing about um, Star Wars, they love just killing off one generation so the next one can start up. Hell, Episode 3 and Episode 4. Do I need to say any more? Alright, now, with Leia's death, 
for one, I know that she's going to actually die here because Kylo Ren is going to come out and kill the Resistance. He's going to go crazy, a whole out war. She's going to be in the command room. Luke is going to try to protect her, and so would Rey and the other Jedi. But the problem is, some of the Jedi might not be on Kylo Ren's level. They might get cut down. Not saying Luke or Rey. Luke or Rey could be on another distant planet fighting. It's a rebellion. It's going to be wars everywhere. They're not all going to be centralized together. They're going to be split up and that's going to be the time when Kylo Ren's going to kill his mother. Now it's going to be some type of real big emotional thing. She's going to be conflicted whether or not she should actually kill her son because he killed um, the one she loved. It's going to be a real big conflict with that and that's going to be something Star Wars fans will enjoy. All right, now let's talk about some more character conflicts. Now, Luke versus Snoke. Now, I already talked about Snoke. I truly believe that Snoke is going to tell Luke that your father was an amazing, you know, master or something, and you should have idolized him, but I will kill him to finish your work because Vader actually got seduced by the enemy. He let his love for his son cloud his judgment, and he killed his master in order to save his son. Now, the Inquisitors who were under him are going to see that as some type of major threat. And that's why they're actually, in, in all honesty, having Kylo Ren kill his mother, just like Kylo Ren kills his father, because of the weakness that loving your loved ones actually, you know, makes. It makes a weakness. And that weakness can be exploited, and Siths are absolute. Only a Sith deals in absolute, and weakness is an absolute. All right, now we're going to get into a little bit more of this. Ray fighting Kylo Ren again. Oh, Kylo Ren, sorry. Yes, it's going to happen, guys. Seriously. Kylo Ren is going to fight Ray again. It's going to be a real big, epic battle. This time, it's not going to be some chick in the desert who got lucky with a lightsaber and um, a Sith who hasn't been fully trained. It's going to be two Jedi Masters clashing, which is something we've always been waiting for. All right, now let's get into more of this. Finn and Poe discovering the Force together. I truly believe Finn and Poe are Jedis. They have the Force. It was actually a part in the movie where Finn grabbed the blaster. Finn was not looking behind him. He turned the blaster around and shot one of the um, stormtroopers. He wasn't even looking. The abilities that Finn actually has are incredible. Let's be honest here. The way he was using that blaster was sick it really was not just that did you see how he was sweating a lot during the film it was like something was really pulling him to this destiny he wasn't choosing it was like something was pulling him and he could not stop it and Kylo Ren felt that immense emotion that's why he knew Finn was the one who betrayed him Poe an amazing pilot this fool shot down more planes than I've ever seen in my life nobody ever should have that type of ability this dude's a Jedi in all honesty Poe came down to save Finn and everybody. This dude was shooting at ships. It's like he knew where the ships were going before they were there. And what is that? The Force. This dude, nobody can honestly fly like that without the Force. Nobody can. Nobody can. The only reason Luke even survived blowing up the Death Star was because of the Force. Honestly, think about it. Guys, this is Big Cable Line Network here. These are my little plot details for Star Wars Episode 7 based off of similar events happening in the movies and how it can be well grouped together. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I always enjoyed when um, Star Wars made something new. They made Episode 7, watched it, loved it, watching it again next year. And when I say next year, I mean like in the next six days. Anyway, now put in the comments, what do you guys think is going to happen? Please don't put any spoilers about episode 7 in the comments because I don't want anybody um, on my channel coming on here and they say, okay, this is something about a spoiler, I'm not going to watch it, and they go to the comments and they see your spoiler. I will remove all spoiler comments. Peace out.